Couple more shots putting down. Yeah, that Wash U will win this one 63 to 58, defeating Chicago. You know, it was really a game of runs. We didn't see one team, you know, we didn't see really back and forth. It was one team would go up 10, then the other team would crawl back, then the other team would, you know, go up 10. It was, you know, really a game of runs. Uh, Wash U there celebrating in the middle. They'll be, they'll be heading to their second straight Final Four appearance. Last year winning the national championship. Wash U obviously excited there. I mean, who wouldn't be going to the second straight Final Four appearance playing like they did, especially getting a little scare from Chicago right there at the end. Definitely a special moment for the Wash U seniors and the coaches. Oh, no doubt. Well, this, this right here, if Washington can, or if Wash U can make it to the championship or, or win the, this Final Four game, get into the national championship, they will have been in the national championship eight games out of the last 14 years. That's, that's unreal. It's almost John Wooden-like. Not quite that good, but, you know. <laughs> Obviously, Chicago, you know, disappointed in the loss but get, getting to this getting to this point in the season is you know absolutely you know, a, a tremendous you know achievement you know not not many teams get to make it to the elite eight um so i mean chicago has nothing to hang their heads about they played an excellent game you know and you know nothing to hang their heads about wash U just they just played better And we have Coach Faye here of the winning Washington University. Uh, let, what, what would you say was a big key for you guys? I know you got, you know, Chicago kind of came back and made a little run there in the second half, but it always seemed like you guys were able to counter that. What really led to that? If you expect runs not to come, they're going to come. This is Elite Eight. It happened last night. It's going to happen tonight. And I think it's just our, our experience that kind of played out. We didn't talk about final four we talked about it just as a game and i think that calmed us a little bit i think if you get ahead of yourself it's nerve-wracking right and we saw we saw your your guard here danny hoover we called her name numerous times here she just seemed to find the ball wherever the ball was whether it be an offensive defensive how how do you you know um really how, how did her performance match up in this she's had a great couple weeks and her sister too but I, I mean i think the biggest thing was that she's small but she's kind of our secret weapon I've kind of thought that she's been a key all along. If she's on fire, she gets bored. She's got a great vertical. Um, sometimes you just can't see that happen, and there she pulled it out. So, Coach, what does it mean for you and your program to go to your second straight Final Four and maybe play for another national championship? Well, you know, I've always said this is not about me. Someone told me yesterday, they go, well, you've been there. Let other somebody else go. I said, those guys have not been there. This, isn't a, this is about their experience, and uh, it's always great. I mean, it's tough to defend. Um, and we had a rocky start, so we've been able to play well when it counted. Well, Coach, you've had an excellent run here, and, and a, a great congratulations to you guys to get to this point, and good luck to you guys in the coming weeks and in the, in the next you know, coming games. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Coach Faye of the winning Washington St. Louis University. Uh, they, they played an excellent game, Rob. I, I really don't know you know, what else to say. This, this team was resilient. They they counteracted a game of runs and you know they, they just found a way to win and it always seems like those good championship teams find a way to win in those pressure pressure situations and that'll be a wrap for us here at Thomas Moore College in Crestview Hills Kentucky the final 63 58 as we see Washington University here cutting down the nets such a special moment for this team We see number four, Berger, going up to cut down the net. Got to be special for her. Her being a senior, you know, being the senior leader, averaging close to 14 points a game. This has got to be huge for her and 